Don't bust yourself with aces too. That would be very unfortunate. How <laughs> made you believe you're going to get aces? Nice. Raise, Raise again. Raise, Raise them all, eight. fish. Nice. Every pot. Cool. I'd like uh, nice. Mr. Bait. Pass. Checking? Check. Check. Six thousand. Cold. Check. Fourteen thousand. Raise it. Raise. Twenty six. Twenty six thousand more. All in. All in. <clears throat> fishy, fishy, fishy. Who knew I'd make a full house this early in the game, buddy? I, th I think it's bye bye, Phil. I don't know how I can lay this down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to lay this down, but I can't do it. How much does he have? Did he turn nines full on me? Fifty-three thousand. Wow. This is sick. Well, this is what it's going to take to get me out of the Premier League hands like this one, I guess. I, I can't lay this down. Six is full is good. Here's five. No, oh, I had nothing. Not even a pair. Seven, eight, I made a straight in the end. Really? Yeah. Did seven, eight? I made a straight in the end. That sucked into it. Made a straight in the end. Fish. What the f There's no question, man, Philip, Vanessa front. Russo can come out of this yeah. with okay. six points. <laughs> yeah, right. She's going to have a have no remarkable result. Is, considering if she can last one more position, she's going to get six points out of it. Considering what she's been oh, through today, that would be amazing. This is not a betting situation. Oh. This is just a switching chips situation. That didn't hurt so bad. Schwartz, Locke, they are not going to be happy with six points. Oh. Small blind, big blind. Raised to 42,000. Call. Luke, Bubblegum, Schwartz, and Phil. Heads up. Hopefully not Cherry Bomber, Lock. About to play a hand. Well, King Seven for a lock. What's Luke got? Ooh. You're playing it without your shades on? You have heart. You have heart, you know? I, I want to do this. I'm like, you know. I am positioning them. These pots are big already. 84,000. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is he going Phil broke here? Flops top flop. No. Quick call. Quick but call. 40, you know what that means? Call. Like quad kings. Be very careful, kid. <laughs> Look at Luke. <laughs> He's hating this. Can he get away from this and how? Well, I mean, he has a lot of chips. <laughs> he doesn't have to go broke unless Phil Lock, Phil Lock might not play it to break him. You know, I mean, right? This pot's so big already. I mean, could lock just check, 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 check. 
implode him here with nothing? Wow, lock checked right behind yeah. him. Yeah. Wow. That's strong. So now Luke has to value bet it, and Phil Lock's going to raise him 100,000. Watch in the pot. He's spread it. And Lock's played this well. It's because of what happened that other hand, right? With the three sevens, right? Yep. He, he, he lost Luke on the turn and now hopes to get him on the river. So about one, 160 in the pot. So he's falling for it. Box trapped him. Does he have any instincts? That say God, I mean, how is trouble? Phil Locke running? Oh my God! I mean, he against kings he flopped a set of eights. Against queens he flopped a full house. He flopped the queens dead. I mean, how <laughs> hard is that? The he took king dead. seven offsuit against two queens and flopped it. He flopped the guy dead. He flopped him dead. Now Luke might bet eight. I don't even know what he'll bet. He might bet eighty thousand. And Phil, I'm all in. So Raise sick. So all in. Sick. <laughs> you just flop a house on me twice. So sick. Wow, he knows it. It's not like I have aces or anything, even though I do. That's how sick it is. It's just too stupid. One hundred thirty-seven. <laughs> first bet. Raise all in. He knows, doesn't he? Well, I mean, he he do. I mean, oh, look. I mean, Phil just moved in so quickly there. It's just too sick. I mean, look, Phil Lock. I mean, would never try to bluff here. He has to have it like 100 percent of the time. I mean, and he knows it had to be a house because he wouldn't have checked three kings. Is that what I it mean? I mean, he bet 140 thousand to 160 thousand. He has to have it. How do you not shove sevens pre-flop? Yeah. And you're just checking behind the turn with King-8. Suited. King-8 of spades you could have. <sighs> He's a pretty good hand reader. <laughs> this is amazing. Is he getting away from this here? It's well, nice. I mean, it's... I mean, it's not like you expect me to fall for this much more, is it? It's just too sick. Yeah. Oh. yeah. He has to fold. He has to make the tough lay down. I mean, that's all there is to it. Wow. When I fold, how much to show? <laughs> <sighs> this is too sick. I bet 80k on the river instead of 130 as well. So dumb. Yeah, I don't like that bet. I mean, yeah. I, I, told, I, I thought 80 or 90 was just much better. I mean, and then maybe you only raise you 80 or 90, and maybe you have to call that, but you're still in there. He's, 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 oh. he's not happy about it. <coughs> I mean, there's no way in a million years we're good enough to bluff here, so <laughs> we've got to fold. But... <laughs> it's just too sick. Just... How am I beat here? I'm so sick. He does remind me of myself a little bit that way. Two hundred dollars, show me now. You owe me four hundred. He reminds me so much of you. Who's my raise with king seven off when I've got aces? Which doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Him, flops a house, flops a set, flops a house, flops a set. Oh, yeah. He could be Helmuth. He could be you. Wait a minute, dude. There's a European I shouldn't have helmet. Shouldn't so much on the river. I was going. I was going for the. Tony G's Sorry. got the kings again. Unbelievable. Um, I mean, kings, kings. Yeah, somebody's going to slip up. Somebody is bound to slip up. Yeah, I don't see anybody slipping up here. Nobody has anything. And this is going to be very frustrating for Tony G. Well, I take it back. Patrick, we've seen him make some moves with ace fours already. That's one of the hands he likes to play. What kind of history do Patrick and Tony G have, I wonder? Obviously, they were in different groups in this Premier League, but they certainly go back a few years in the top tier gambling. I would guess they haven't had a lot of history. They might have played on a high stakes cash yeah. game once or so, but Patrick is going to make the call. And Tony G finally getting some action on the Kings. Let's see if he wants it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ace, ace, oh four. A full house oh no. for Patrick Antonius. <laughs> Mike, we're, we're, this is going to get ugly. I do believe that these cards are going to get shown. 
And I think that Zasko, who now rests on the top of Tony G's chips, might find himself out in the dog pound. Well, let's go and check, check again on the turn. How can he check Kings twice here? Now the three of clubs comes off. Patrick has to make a bet here at this pot, doesn't he? Man's checked twice in a row. Check. He's checking He's again. Checked again? Oh, no! Tony G's taking the bait! He took the bait! Well, he took the bait, and now he's going to be so angry because oh, he's, he's hooked. He's, he's not hooked. going to see the hand. Obviously, I don't unbelievable know. that Patrick checked the third time there, <laughs> knowing how quick Tony G was checking behind him. Mike, I mean, this, this could be the end of Tony. How big is Patrick going to raise right now? When he raises, Tony's going out, I promise you. And Tony's going to be kicking himself for betting here. He checked it twice. He just couldn't stand it a third time. Well, look at all the time. Right now, there's a quiet on the table. There's a calm, and it's only the calm before the storm. Well, look at this. Tony's shaking his head. He knows he's been had. What a, what a slippery play by Patrick, and just... Outstanding. I'm trapped, Tony says. I know I'm trapped. Yeah. Look at the size of the raise, too. 140,000. 130,000. This is just like a frustration call here. Call. That's a bad call by Tony, I think. Patrick's just not going to make a play here in that spot without an ace in that spot at a minimum. Kings. Hold on, Patrick. That's the patience. Oh, he hates that. That could have been his Premier League. I got King. Checked, checked, checked. And the flop just hated him, Mike. Incredible. What a deal of this guy. How could you play the hand any better? Checking three times in a row. Finally, <laughs> Tony takes the, the bait and fell right in the he well. He was drawing dead on the flop. You're the best. I mean, with two kings. And Tony has checked it three times, Mike. It's like he knew what Tony had. Well, just incredible. I think anybody would have bet that hand after the guy checked a couple times to you. You're finally going to bet two kings. It's just amazing. He didn't have to pay off the extra 130000 though. I mean. Right, Ryan Smith is, uh, is definitely going to have a, a good opportunity to make some money here. I met with the old Deuce 3 on the button, and she's got Channing wow. in the small. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, really? Now we can see our action right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially with the flush draw on board, Channing is not going to be too quick to give her credit for a better hand. Uh, he, how can he? What are you going to call this? Wednesday. He's going to be thinking only pocket fives and like ace five beat him pretty much. And, you know, and he's going to see all those draws. Now, yeah, and, and that has to raise right now. I mean, it's just because there's so many hands that Channing should, could be willing to, to get it in with. Sort of thing. Exactly. And, and, and from Channing's perspective, he's going to be thinking, and that could just be making a play. She could have a billion different draws. And he's not going to be thinking she has a better hand too often. We'll just see how much trouble he gets himself in here. It's amazing because <laughs> most players would have re-raised Channing. He's not the kind of guy who loves to get it in big the on the flop. Yeah. But now, yeah, actually, so see the stacks. The stacks were actually pretty good for Channing. You had to just get it in there. If they had been 20k deep, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, might you know, like a call a little more. But uh, <laughs> I probably prefer just popping it back and getting it in. Is there any way Channing doesn't go broke here? And and that has to think about making sure she bets this heavy enough to, to get this paid off big, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. She should be making pretty large bets because for Channing to call, you know, he could even be as strong as like Ace King now uh, when he calls the, the raise out of position and then the king turns. So uh, she's loving that card and actually Channing's loving that card because he's not putting her on an ace king and he's still got her on a number of like six eight of spades and you know three six of spades and random like jack ten of spades and maybe a, a bluff that decided a two barrel now that's unfortunately going to kill a lot of the action that's going to save channing a lot of money there 4200 pounds in this pot and right a big range a, a big part of annette's range for from the way channing perceives it is the spades but still 
Still, you feel like he may just check and call here, or what's this? This is this is definitely out here. I, it, it's it, he must be going for something real small. Two five bucks. Two thousand three hundred fifty. Oh. Oh. Two five. Two five. Two five. Two five. Two five. And. Somewhere he made that decision quick. Somewhere between a blocking bet and a a value, I, I don't know. What he, yeah, I'm not sure what he's going there for because if he was going to call some, if he, if he was going to put more money in the pot, he probably should have been better off letting Annette maybe go for a triple barrel bluff, maybe try and pick off some six sevens or some three sixes, some of those busted straight draws that missed. If he's got to put more money in. I mean, checking and folding was an option too for him. Everyone, he's got 15,000 for the last hour. Wow, this is a good spot for Torelli. Trickets open this pot. Lock called. Jungle Man called from the button. And now Trickets picked up this, uh, excuse me, Torelli's picked up this hand in the big blind. It's a fairly sturdy re raise. <sighs> But Locks peeled off the flop here. Now these guys are deep. They're both like 50,000 deep. Holy Toledo. Aces against the flop straight. Uh, yeah, this could be a big pot here, but uh, Torelli's unlikely to lose a very big hand with aces here. Well, now the pot's already 7,000. So, I mean, like, unless he's just going to go check, call, check, call. If he leads and lock calls, I mean, the, this, this pot can get so big so fast. Is the mistake, Scott, or not the mistake, the clue, if there's ever going to be one for Torelli, mm -hmm. that as soon as he gets called here by lock, he'll realize it really hits lock sort of set mining range or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it sets, and obviously when he hits this board, he hits it pretty well. If he doesn't hit a set yeah. or a straight, he's going to hit a pair and a straight draw. Yeah, 3,000. And uh, Phil looks a very small bet, 3,000, less than half pot. Decides to just check check call. And this is why, I mean, Alex Roy is playing this hand well, very well, very now. Well, right he's, now. but he, even playing it like this. It's actually a great, great card for Alec. Um, brings, you know, a four card straight 8, on the board. Now he can beat even less. That's 8, even then, you know, if he had a straight draw, he got there with an eight. If he had a 10 in his hand, he likely also had a, you know, two pair now with a nine or a seven. So hard to lay down Ace's head up still. I think he can do this right here on the turn. And he just can lose the minimum if he can find a fold here. He just knows, doesn't he, Scott, that there could be another bet. The next bet could be... I mean, that's what he's thinking in his mind right now. He's thinking, I might have the best hand, but am I willing to call a bet on the river that's going to be 20,000? And I, I, I don't think he is with this board complexion. Not to mention, the board can just get worse. An eight comes, and what does he do? Or a jack. I mean, like, there's there's a lot of bad river cards you, to even compound things, but the, Phil just ha has to hit this board in so many ways, at least a piece of it. He very rarely has absolutely nothing here. And I, I think overall, Locke is going to be best barreling the river big, don't you? It's, yeah. it's such a polarizing bet right now. He would, he's if got he it. was bluffing, he would do it. Yeah, he's got 36,000. Um, he could, I mean, his stack size is where he can ship it here if he wanted to. Oh. Yep. Oh, and he does. He bets 36,000 into 30,000, which is basically a pot size shove. And this is so polarized. He either has a straight or he like doesn't. Um, it even brings a backdoor flush, but Phil isn't concerned about that. He decides to ship it because if Torelli had the flush anyway, he would have bet and called off, so it made no difference. This is now potentially the biggest pot of big game six so far. Torelli, it, you always have aces in these spots, don't you? He's calling! He called him! He's not he flopped the straight! Bravo. He flopped nice the hand. straight. He got paid off all in on the river after the 10 came and the club. I just 
And Alec knows. I think I have you covered, right? Yeah. I yeah. Alec yeah. knows he was supposed to fold. It was just that little thing. He went with his gut there. He went with his gut, and his gut was wrong. And Scott, he is buried now. He is. He is now. He's just lost his profit. He was the big winner. Phil Locke has got all the money. And he's going nowhere. This is after Jennifer Tilly took 100,000 pounds out of the last game. <laughs> now These guys own the big game. Yeah, he, he bought him for 20,000, and now that's almost all gone. He, he had Phil covered there, but not by much. He's down to just around 4,000, um, and it could potentially change the whole dynamic of the table.